Dr. Ed Stone on gene discovery, making genetic testing available to all patients. About um, 10 or 15 years ago now, it became apparent to me that some of the results of laboratories like ours that discovered uh, disease genes uh, wasn't being translated uh, directly into the care of patients. Uh, and I started being sort of puzzled by that because we, uh, you know, would write grants that said things like, uh, if we could just find this gene, then we would be able to dot, dot, dot. But then it turned out that dot, dot, dot wasn't happening. And it turned out that there were a whole lot of obstacles to uh, bringing a genetic test for a rare disease uh, to the patient. And the bottom line was it simply wasn't commercially viable to do for a disease that occurred in maybe 50 people in the United States between the ages of uh, 0 and 20. So uh, about 15 years ago, uh, we started spending a lot of time developing a nonprofit genetic testing strategy so that philanthropic funding could be used to develop tests for very rare diseases. And um, so now our lab provides nonprofit genetic testing to about a thousand families a year from all around the world. And that has value in and of itself because it helps uh, physicians make the proper diagnosis in their patients, but it also helps us identify molecularly uh, defined groups of people who will be the, the patients that will be uh, suitable for participating in clinical trials in the coming years. Every single patient uh, asks how soon it will be before we have some treatment that will make them better. And uh, a phrase that I use uh, frequently is uh, single digit years. And that's the time scale that I believe that there's going to be a really fundamental uh, change in the way we view inherited eye diseases and the things that uh, we're going to be able to do. Like with any other disease, it's not going to happen overnight. Uh, somebody's not going to open a newspaper and say uh, the cure for dot, dot, dot was discovered. I do think it'll be incremental over these uh, single digit years. But um, the kinds of things that are going to happen are uh, the genetic testing is going to get way better and faster so that our ability to identify a specific person's disease-causing mutations uh, is going to go way up into the 70s, 80s, 80 percent uh, to find uh, a mutation in somebody that walks in the door, their cause of disease. Um, uh, gene replacement strategies are going to become more numerous and uh, they're going to be effective in a number of cases. And I think in the coming uh, 10 years, you're going to start seeing some cell replacement therapies as well, both for diseases of the retinal pigment epithelium like age-related macular degeneration, but also of uh, photoreceptors. Uh, very, very encouraging results in animal models uh, are are being seen now with uh, photoreceptors being created from pluripotent stem cells.